Hello and welcome to another edition of Motor Capital. I think this bank building is available. It's boarded up on the side. Man, the repurposing of that building would be awesome. Fenkel or Five Mile, if you prefer. Uh, Rosedale Park. It's a historic district, and I'm en route to check out a Drinks by Design event. So I parked here at Evergreen and Pilgrim. I think this house here is available also. Good day to watch the planes traverse through the sky. Yeah, this house here is boarded up. This is right on Evergreen. Here's a landmark to be sure. I don't know what the building was before, but here's the event. No climbing when we're talking to me, because I would have wanted to check that out. Uh, plants, flowers kind of thing, and food trucks. Detroit shrimp and fish. All right, well, I'm going to go to the north side of Grand River. And here, welcome to the Grand Mount Rosedale Communities. So Rosedale Park is on the west side of Southfield, but it's on Grand River. Go keep heading southeast, and you'll get into the Grand Mount uh, neighborhood. Here at Design Corps Detroit event is taking place, Drinks by Design to be specific second Thursday of every month and it's at a different place in the city every month showcasing something really cool so I make it a point when I get the email to respond and say hey I want to check this out this is a great uh, neighborhood type shop like a chamber of commerce type thing letting people know what's happening in their neighborhood so it's a combination of the two neighborhoods What's your go? House hunting. Yeah, I'm going to check out some houses and route here. This is a nice neighborhood to be sure. Here they talk about the green light project. And yeah, anything you'd want to find out about the neighborhood, this would be a good start um, to talk to some people here and get some idea of what's going on. Uh, they always talk, oh, all the talk is downtown and midtown and Corktown and Eastern Market. There's getting to be more and more neighborhoods, but yeah, let's talk about Rosedale Park and Grand Mount. We'll talk about all the neighborhoods one at a time. Uh, why not? My evil twin, I think, is up for it or indifferent. Detroit Vegan Soul. So checking out like a restaurant. I didn't know this. This is a nice mural, certainly, on the side. And I'm guessing vegetarian, just a hunch, but um, probably anybody could find something good to eat. Uh, so we'll check out some of the businesses along here. This was, oh, Pecha Kucha. This is another event in Detroit that's top-notch. It's international, but they, um, they have a branch in Detroit. And here we'll check out a presentation. Uh, and looked at the patterns they created. And clearly in Detroit, most of those are located along rail lines and creeks um, and really kind of create looping around the city. Uh, we also studied different strategies uh, and systems uh, in terms of how it could be applied at a level of a parcel, district, corridor systems and regions. We're trying to make connections bigger than just the individual uh, sites and rather think of them as groupings planned and made real progress on making economic um, investment and have that uh, exponentially grow and impact the immediate neighborhoods. You can see that Atlanta and Detroit um, do appear very relevant to each other from a geographical data that Atlanta put a lot of investment in was looking at what impact uh, their project had on with half mile uh, radius of the project. So in Detroit, that could mean 67,000 
uh, likely occupied homes could be impacted in a positive way by this transformation. The other um, lenses we use to look at the um, industrial um, um, spaces and thinking of how they could connect neighborhoods in different parts of the city. So we mapped different modes of transportation, whether they're pedestrian, bike use, transit, um, and so on. And uh, further, looking at different strategies for utilizing free internet to uh, folks who can't currently afford to pay for that, and it would um, create a much broader connection point for everyone uh, in the neighborhoods. Uh, we also studied uh, opportunities for creating energy via solar or wind um, techniques, as well as uh, tapping into the existing industrial processes and looking at ways of um, recovering um, heat from those um, in existing processes. Excellent. That was like a presentation on urban planning. How cool is that? All right, we're going to check out some more of the neighborhood and hear the lighting system. Decorative, decorative street lighting. And it's like no two neighborhoods are the same with their light poles and whatnot. You can see all variations depending on the year they went up. Okay, well, I, here, I got that handy-dandy map. Grand River goes off, like, on a 45-degree angle, but certainly, oh, that's the neighborhood right there, just west of Southfield Freeway. So I'm heading in a southeasterly direction towards downtown, and the numbers will be going down. Here's Art is everywhere, even in the... Uh, little design there and if you want to park your bike or lock it up you can do it there here's a brewing company hate has no home here oh gosh the alt white would not be happy um, yeah that's another colorful uh, mural and look at this, Motor City Match, top property for new business. I'm not, I'm going to have to check that out online to see how that works out, but they're always looking for entrepreneurs and the like, and these young millennials and so forth, even people older than that look for opportunities, and right now, Detroit is a, a, a market that's catching the eye of a few people, even uh, nationally. Uh, land is relatively cheap still, but the prices have gone up quite a bit since bankruptcy. Here, the little Caesar, he's quite the landmark there, too. He's chowing down on a, a slice. Here they have so signs like deline delineating that you're in the historic Rosedale Park neighborhood. Here they painted over this, but uh, looks good, the brickwork. Something different. Upscale resale. And then across the way, Roots Nature. And a boutique. Yeah, this is a prescription place. Cush Cab. Then a hair closet next door. And like a florist place. Yeah, so urban planning, uh, anybody can uh, participate in this. This might bore people to tears, but I'm just uh, checking out some of the businesses. I'll loop back around, and this will be like a, a three-part show. After this, I'll go... Uh, to Midtown, they have a spring in Midtown thing, and then I'll go, I'll have a few minutes where I can do the movement, uh, the festival that w took place over a Memorial Day weekend. So, anyways, check out some of the housing stock here. This is one of the premier neighborhoods in Detroit, and these are solid brick homes to be sure, and some of them 
uh, needs some maintenance and they're being reworked uh, to be sure but uh, others are uh, in great shape and there's some good styling oh Charles he's doing some work on the porch here this house is going to be up for sale 18425 Lancashire uh, he said he'd be on the market soon they had a little work to complete and then the owner of the property but he said check it out so a nice two-car garage it's one street north of Grand River so the back side of the property um, you can see Grand River there it parallels but uh, yeah just Oh, one of these days I'd love to live in Detroit. The taxes are high and car insurance is crazy. Those are two things that uh, kind of would be nice if they got those in check. Uh, they're working on them, I, I think. Uh, but yeah, nice, solid home. And somebody asked for his business card and i have some tuck pointing too i said charles you do that tuck pointing he said yeah meticulous kind of work but um yeah it does it look at the stained glass on the side and this is just tedious you just take it yeah oh i'm I, sure it is checking doing some work on a Thursday early evening but the uh, spring is has sprung and, and the trees and some of the flowers certainly uh, it was a welcome sight after the long winter that we had and actually pretty much a lack of spring it went right to summer but mother nature got all colorful now so that's a good gig and look at the uh, the landscaping here the nice streets and now I made it to Southfield and so I'm gonna loop and Southfield M39 and I've driven Southfield many times but don't really have to exit here at five mile for any main reason or nothing but uh, now that I'm checking out different neighborhoods Pay more attention, I guess, but most people just zip by on Southfield Freeway. Uh, Grand River used to be a great street to travel on. Of course, I-96 siphoned a lot of the traffic right off of Grand River. Okay, so I made it there where it's circled on the map. And now I'm going to head northwesterly. We're all proud to be American. Chase has a nice bank building here. Gosh, there's a lot of cool bank buildings in Detroit that are abandoned, could be repurposed. It'd be cool to live in a uh, old bank. Or the fire stations, I've seen uh, a few of those too that are abandoned. Old fire stations, repurpose that. Oh yeah, there's looking downtown. Turned out to be quite the nice uh, afternoon here, Thursday. Well, the event was 5.30 to like 8. The lights are on now. Car wash, fast, splash. And a few shop, more shops there. Another mural. Yeah, there's room for improvement certainly in this area. But you what you have to do if you're looking around and if you're an entrepreneur and you're looking for a spot, you know, first thing you gotta get out, get out of the car and walk and kind of take it building by building. So I like to say the first thing you should do is take inventory, see what you got. Here, a good, uh, like a Caribbean place here. Yeah. A nice, uh, so a few restaurants and the like, but uh, yeah, take inventory uh, first, then then ask questions, check on the availability of different parcels or whatnot, and ask people what's happening in the neighborhood, whatnot. 
and, and then get answers. So it's always good to do your research. A church for people that hate church? Can there be such a thing? All right, well, this is South Rosedale. It ain't, it's still Rosedale Park, but it straddles Grand River. So there's a north side and a south side. But definitely good housing stock. And it would be nice, actually, to check to see what home prices uh, are in the neighborhood to give you a ballpark. And here at the Garden Bug, open seven days. Wow, we 18901 Grand River. So this is the south side. They have a nice mural behind the fence there. All right. So I'm going to walk back to where I parked. But uh, I was dilly dallying so much. I really missed a lot of the presentations that Drinks by Design have. And they're all about from Detroit having good design. And uh, they have quite the program. They got something going on all the time. And September is like the design month. And they have tons of festivals. I think I'll probably have a little more information with their website here in a little bit. Look at that donut. That's monster size. They really had the hole in the middle. Then they had a... Well, I ended up with one with sprinkles. Outer Drive, which kind of twists and turns and goes all over the place. But um, crossing Outer Drive now. Here's some neat industrial shapes. Well, here, Dream Realty. This building's uh, for sale. It was a restaurant. But uh, it needs to be repurposed. This gentleman was styling. He had the, the threads and he had the dance moves. I was going to videotape, but he said, uh, well, I got him a little bit there, but... Uh, if he was going to do a show or whatnot or a dance routine, he, he needed some money. But uh, I would have been good with that, too. It's just like when I see good musicians perform, I, you know, and they have a tip bucket out there. I don't have problems with that. So the guy had some good dance moves. Yeah. I'm okay with that. The Cuts Lounge. Now, this was the place where the main event was. And they have a nice mural. So it's a barber shop and among other things and so forth. Kind of like a community gathering spot. Kind of with the black folk, though, that's where a lot of the talk and interaction goes on. Word on, word on the street kind of stuff. So, uh, and that goes both for the, for the men with the haircuts and the, the women with the salons and whatnot. So, yeah, they had the lights out. They had some nice pictures in here. But I got here after 8. <laughs> Design core. Okay. There. Read all that. Maybe it's design. Yeah, see, 8, it was technically over, and it was 8.35. So all my gallivanting through the neighborhood. I was having too much fun. But, yeah, I'd like to check out other neighborhoods and certainly uh, this is a well-known neighborhood now I have to go to Grandma that's one that I'm not as familiar with I've been through Rosedale Park a few times but it, it's been a few years here documenting the 67 riots even wow okay a roll up truck this is all in plain view and the flowers I wonder what that sign was, uh, how that building was repurposed. But then here again, urban planning, you're an entrepreneur, go to that building there. Okay, made it to Evergreen. Gas at this time, it's gone up since that. It's close to three bucks now. And the website, det.com. And I'm doing the urban thing today, most definitely. 
There is a Meyer. Um, now I'm heading this. I wanted to go up to the uh, the city limits, which would take you on Grand River. It would take you up to seven mile. But this is a cool ghost ad. So that completes the first section. Now I'm going to go to um, Midtown. And they have a spring into Midtown. This is the first year they've had this event. Here at the Masonic, there was a function at the junction. That's quite the entertainment complex. So this was uh, a Saturday. Uh -huh. Okay, green as green can be. This was where Fortune Records was back in the day. I think that's 3946 Third Avenue. Uh, but across the way, Gus's Fried Chicken, and they're world famous. I'll be damned. In Detroit, no less. They. You know, it was, we got a, like, it took forever to get a Hard Rock Cafe, but we got one of the chicken places. Here we go, Motor City Match. Go, go to MotorCityMatch.com. Here, a top pro property for new business. Whether they give you a, a deal on the property, like it's city-owned kind of thing. This building is not in great shape, but it's location, 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 and this cast, South Cast corridor neighborhood uh, is all the rage they have some music here but first in, in the foreground is the happier camper there's a little string of businesses here love midtown so there you go 12 to 8 p.m this event was running and we'll check this flower shop i to check the music first <laughs> Blossomingartist.net. So inside the store, yeah, it looks like it's relaxing. Plus, look, art is everywhere. They're showcasing it uh, inside their store, which I love when they do this kind of stuff and they combine. It's not just like getting your flowers and whatnot, but you also can get your artwork. Excellent. Good mix. So a neat little store. They've been open, I guess, for like three years now. I didn't realize it had been that long, but... Yeah, first time I actually went inside the store, and they even had goodies and so forth. Here's inside the Happier Camper, which is kind of nice. It's not like everything's not mixed sized, extra large. It's smaller can be good too. It has its moments. You can be happier. This they uncovered this the Willis Show Bar. I had heard about this back in the day. They open at 7 p.m. I, I wanted to get a peek inside. Wow, this the curved uh, glass there. Oh, my gosh. And look at this marquee, Willis Show Bar. And I, it, it had been or it's been open just for a few weeks at this point. And it's on West Willis. Go figure. Neat, huh? Wow. It, it closed up years ago. Because this is kind of like a red light district kind of a thing. I guess they had some issues. But uh, it's open. It's where the star is. The red star. And these are all the venues that were participating in this event. But, oh, I wanted so bad to go inside the bar. Um, but I really wasn't dressed for it. I'm going to have to dress up a little bit and get my hat. I got a cool hat. So the bar... Then the Cake Ambition, I like the green they got in their logo, and the Blossoms. So three businesses, back to back to back. 
everybody patiently waiting. So they, they didn't open right at 7. It's a little later. But, uh, yeah, they take reservations and stuff. I would imagine they're probably uh, off to a good start. Just, uh, just a guess. They have bike lanes here. Uh, this is the area, you know, between the, the Little Caesars Arena and uh, Midtown. Or I should say, um, you know, Midtown and then further up, where there's more talk with the, the new center, too. It's kind of a matter of connecting the dots. And the queue line kind of does that, but... Um, People have kind of rediscovered these neighborhoods and so forth. This is a historic street, to be sure, and lots of nice detail. I'm into that checking out the houses thing now. <laughs> That's part of urban planning, too. Here, yeah, look at this. They're separate units. I don't know how many they're subdivided into, but these aren't cookie-cutter homes. Everyone's unique. Uh, different and uh, wow never give up okay oh that's <laughs> urinal in front of the traffic jam and then uh, that's the artist there and they and smoky gosh this was well done a nice woodcut yeah this was carved Filson is the name of the company. Uh, I don't, but Smokey helps to fight forest fires, and he, he wants you to give him a hand also. This is a nice strip of businesses here. Uh, they have some nice planners. So I'm right here between the arrows on West Canfield. There's a dog park at the... We're going to check that out. Across the way is City Bird. It's kind of interesting shopping around here. They have different kind of little stores and boutiques. It's kind of, it's kind of fun to third man records, Jack White and so forth. So I think the press in the back is open now. So you can actually see old school records being pressed. I haven't, I've seen the back shop, but I can't swear that they're actually making the records. That's something I'll have to check into. All right, here's the dog park. Man, I'm pretty close to Shinola time. Knickerbocker, I love the name there. We have some New York connections, to be sure. Oh, and I thought the uh, the people participating here were doing all the peddling and all the power and so forth, but no, they have an electric motor out there too, kind of for an assist. But uh, they're having fun. This is a landmark here with the three exhaust pipes up there, smokestacks, and a water tower, yes. Flexibility, strength, focus. Yeah, I definitely need to do that. Patience. These are all good things. Determination, concentration. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got to do yoga? Oh, you've got to be kidding. Here, it takes heart to fight for something that so many consider a lost cause. I like this mural because there was a time uh, in my younger days where I found out secondhand that uh, the mother of my girlfriend thought I was a, a lost cause. I was kind of real heartbroken over that. I kind of wanted my girlfriend to explain all that, and it was basically a religious family um, and uh, they felt that I would never be saved so I uh, fell into that lost cause basket damn 
Oh, well. Okay, back to calling the action here, though, because there's a lot of cool buildings in Detroit. And I think we've kind of overlooked it for so long. We just... You know, the bashing of Detroit was, you know, down to a, a science, how well people <laughs> did it. I remember uh, they had T-shirts like, I'm so bad, I vacation in Detroit. And another one with the revolver saying, come back to Detroit, we missed you the first time. Kind of thing. You, at Trapper's Alley, you could see, God, there were all number of styles of shirts where we did the self deprecation uh for the um for the city we were bad to the bone but uh yeah now it's kind of like it's it's kind of like a little hip the fear factor's not there anymore the the millennials don't aren't freaked out and they kind of go with it and then with the advances of cell phones and everybody can take video all the time nobody really is going to get too wild because it's so easy to document if somebody uh, goes into the evil twin mode here a nice little shop area back here there's a little fashion little artwork uh, these people are also into urban planning they have a, a a little function going on on Grand River, a redevelopment. Here, I like the, yeah, it'd be cool to have a balcony up there on the top level there, but that's a cool building. Here's the church. Yeah, I'm just, no rhyme or reason. I'm kind of taking the detour, and that happens when I go to Detroit. There's no set plan or anything. I just walk around. Take the detour. Here, a nice pubic tile up top. I made it to uh, Main Street, Detroit, Woodward Avenue. There's looking straight down to the downtown area. We had a nice view earlier from Grand River looking downtown. A lot of spokes that emanate from the city. You get a great view looking back to downtown, especially at night. Here, you... <laughs> little pointy tip, but uh, I like these little cornucopia like spire things on the end. I always, it's hillberry, but I kind of say hillbilly theater, but here are eight units in a neat building. And there were a lot of cats running around through here. Now, this place, Detroit Property Exchange, Flip Detroit. So they had pictures, but I'm not sure. Uh, Dream Realty, if their office is still open here or not. But there's certainly a whole lot more interest in uh, Detroit Property. I want to check things out. If anybody knows of a good deal in uh, in the city, let me know. We had some earlier rains, so there were puddles all over the place. Paul Rodriguez, Cass Cafe, so they were part of this uh, Midtown project, so they got some artwork and so forth. We're going to check this out. Rebel, Rebel. Okay. So April, May, June, July. So basically two two months and a couple of weeks. So. And they go clockwise. And they're all numbered and titled there. Northern Lights Lodge, that's a great place for uh, music. And monitor, you can pick these up at a few places. So Kings Cafe is a great place for all the things, uh, little circulars, postcards, events that people have. Here, I didn't catch it at first, but it's, it's love in sign language. That's clever. Okay, 23. That looks like David Bowie, but no, this is uh, Cynthia Nixon, and she's running for Senator I believe in the great state of New York. And they have an upstairs. 
So they had a, this was the menu, they had a big group up top. I don't know if this is a special thing that they had for their event or not. But that's a look, they had a cake even. $150 for this one. And I like that. It's simple in design, but that's kind of me in a nutshell, too. A simpleton. So, yeah, I don't mind that thing. Um, WDET, you can get here even by um, skateboard. And the Detroit Surf Company. They weren't open at this time, but they did have a bunch certainly on display. Here's a nice uh, woodcut on the back of a board. And another string of great shops. Nope, I guess, uh, guess they're not open. Yeah, it's after 6 p.m., so. And a doggy store. I see what they did there. Cast Corridor, they changed it to Core Dog. Ah, that did not escape me. Clever. Planned Parenthood. Yeah, that's a great thing for uh, young women and, and whatnot. Planning um, for a newborn and so forth. But they're under attack all the time by the right wing and it's like are you kidding me uh but yeah wow they do good things anything to promote women's health is a good thing royale with cheese i think that was like a john travolta line or whatnot and here it looks like you can have a little lab set up they have these workstations where you can kind of, yeah, while well, they do software. Here a little fashion. Yeah, so the, uh, the Midtown area certainly is, is happening. They're close, but still awesome. Okay, here's your prices for your burgers. And they have different names. Oh, Royal. Fries flavors. Go with the flow. Avalon was one of the first in the neighborhood and they actually offer their workers a living wage. How about it? Yay. And uh, so they're doing well. We have excellent examples of brickwork all over the place. Now here, people have their balconies. Newly complete lofts for sale. The Overland lofts. So, yeah. And the Charles. This is well done. Kind of the fleur de lis accents and the golden top of the Fisher building it's not they're gonna light it up pretty soon Mario's here in a community garden and I think they use some of the things that uh, are grown here the the salads and the uh, the greens or whatnot the herbs and so forth and they use them in restaurants this I don't know. It looks like forty-one twenty-five, but uh, looks like they're close to doing something here. Just need to open the gates. Will Leather Goods. They've been here a couple years. Worldwide artisans, and been there uh, one time in the store with my sisters, and uh, they have a great little shop here. My brother-in-law bought a business bag. And had it engraved and everything. It was kind of neat. Here it looks, uh, the Grove Cafe looks like it'd be a coffee shop there. Tomboy Supermarket. That's what it was repurposed from. It's kind of neat that they kept that, uh, that name up there. Or the sign. 
yeah, things are ch- changing. It's like you, you can't blink anymore because things, uh, people are uh, rediscovering these buildings and bringing them back to life. Look at the nice brickwork here. Yeah, well, corner thing. Look at the uh, the wrought iron. How cool is this? Yeah, so exploring and discovering things. Man, back in the day, I'd tromp through here. And, um, yeah, Cass Quarter had a, a different vibe to it. <laughs> it's a little rough part of town kind of a thing. But now it's, oh, it'll be a neat little neighborhood that people will uh, gravitate towards. Here, this is like uh, an environmentally friendly building. I think they have solar panels. They collect their rainwater, whether they're self-sufficient in some other ways, too. But, wowie, kazowie. I got to keep moving. No loitering. But, uh, oh, yeah, this, this was a rough part before right here at Alexandria but uh, a lot of these buildings they're redoing today's special is chicken I decided to come in and um, I got macaroni and cheese and then I upgraded because I thought yeah it looks good <laughs> they got interesting neon to be sure um, so here's a look at their menu yeah all that walking around made me uh, hungry so they have small medium large and extra large and then Louisiana the perfect hot sauce one drop does it I don't know what happens when you do two if that just spells trouble or what well they cater wow there's a lot of oh look at I put more than a few drops it's gonna sink in I don't know, just add a little zing. <laughs> we'll try it. It, didn't, it actually tasted okay. And uh, Third Avenue Garage. And then this, this is, uh, they haven't done anything with that building in a while, but back to Jumbo's where I parked. That in the day, wow. Yeah. Kind of back when I was coming of age, that was a... Uh, eye candy show that would take place at the Jumbo's bar. Yeah, dating myself a little bit, but yeah. They're fans of the D. Okay, and then next week's show, I'm going to show this man in the city thing. My sister gave this to me. She had comps because she was a participating artist, and my brother-in-law was too. But they, my sister couldn't make it to the event. She was in Spain on a family vacation. Here, neighborhood service organization, that, that's what this fundraiser will benefit. So they have a soup kitchen right here on 3rd Avenue. Here was a card game that uh, looks like it was broken up hastily. Uh, the Beacon, you can see that. Peterborough and 3rd. So this is fenced off, so maybe something's going to get developed here. But, uh, yeah, the property, it's, uh, it's been discovered. A lot of uh, the words out. This place is for sale, but, yeah, you have to bring a big uh, checkbook with you if you want to buy property in this area now. Certainly with the Little Caesars Arena there, and then a lot of people want to live downtown. But for lease retail space, well, we saw that earlier. I think we did. Okay, so here it is. Their main offices are on Oakman Boulevard, but we're going to catch this um, in next week's show. All right, then I had a good night's sleep and just, oh, I like the Metro Times. And here, Stormy Daniels. And uh, she was big in uh, whatnot, making America horny again tours, what they're calling this. So it's like, holy cow. Uh, 
Yeah, there's Stormy. Wow, wait, is she winking at me? I don't know. Two live shows. I think she had to cancel a few of them and reschedule them, but uh, yeah, she's certainly made a name for herself. And uh, traffic. Okay, I had to do some business downtown. We had a nice mural uh, thing up there in Cobo Center, which is nice. And I'm going to buy a man in the city thing, but that's my little rocket ship. That's another piece of art that I, I bought. But a couple Dearborn artists. Um, and then if you want to, my sister and brother-in-law live in Ann Arbor, but they have their shop, the Glass Academy in Dearborn. But um, anyways, two artists were featured there. Uh, my brother-in-law made this piece, Chris, Chris Nordine. And so he sent me pictures, and there's a little glasswork added to this one. And so we'll see that a little bit later. Here, my uh, rocket ship, but it was made uh, out of a bowling pin. I don't know if you can see that kind of shape in there. But here's, they gave a man in the city a woodcut, and they gave it to like 35 artists. And the artists were left to design uh, as they would uh, see fit, take an artist's take on it. So they all had different designs, and then they go up to auction. So, all right. I am going to switch tapes, and we're going to go to movement here. Oh, yeah, the rocket ship. Detroit, use the symbolism or the metaphor, Detroit is ready to take off. You see that bowling ball in there? Okay, all right, I'm going to switch, I'm going to get back to that event, but I'm going to hop to another tape and something I took later. I like to usually do things in a chronological order, but that's not happening this time. Okay, second tape's in, press play. Oh, this, I caught this on HBO, um, and this was uh, early in the morning. The Flint, Michigan Mega Bowl. I had never heard of this before. I don't know. And I was in Flint uh, just a couple years after it all went down. There's a family portrait from a few years back. But yeah, I'm watching on my uh, TV here the Flint Tropics. I had never heard of these guys, a semi pro team. How did I miss all that? The Michi And I never heard of this. The Michigan Mega Bowl. Semi-Pro is the name of the movie. And it took place in 1976. And Will Ferrell, he's a well-known actor out of Hollywood. Yeah. HBO Zone. And so the Mega Bowl, and, and Flint wins the Mega Bowl. I didn't, why I never heard. I was just in the party went on it was just maybe a little rioting yeah amazing you hear a lot about the flint water crisis and so forth but at least that looked like that was a positive there uh something that flint could hang their hat on um yeah i went to ann arbor and i get my bird feed from up there and i do a mix now sunflower seeds and another one and on this particular day, it attracted cardinals. Uh, here it is, sunflower, see it, cardinals, and then those yellow birds. And the next, oh, it's hard to see it. The next one is, uh, I had two 50-pound bags. So the male and female, I think the, God, the male might be the red one or vice versa. Let's leave it at that. All right. And then, oh, yeah, I was just being cheap on stuff. Here's an all-American event, and it was hot. This was uh, Memorial Day, and they were racing in Indianapolis, but I had to get the air conditioner in because it was like 94 degrees or whatnot. So, oh, and 
took the checkered flag. All right, but yeah, more important, we're gonna turn this thing on, high, cool. Oh yeah, press, it's, there we go, 338, some relief. Okay, now gonna make it to the festival. So this will be a Sunday evening. There's the detour. I didn't know which way to go. I just kind of stopped there for a second. Um, okay, the Kobo Center in front of there again. Joe Lewis. And Hart Plaza is where the place, the event takes place. Lyft was providing the, uh, the ride service, which is kind of neat. And, oh, and the, the ladies are... Oh, yeah, they had their outfits and stuff. It's colorful. Memorial Day again. Uh, that's a nice tribute there. And I didn't buy a ticket, but we'll, I'll walk around the perimeter. Here's uh, some of the sponsors. Movement Detroit. And people came all the way from Norway by bike. Can you believe that? Or is that, or am I just promoting fake news there? But they do the, uh, uh, they don't want any weapons or nothing. Let's just listen to the music for a little bit. <laughs> Bike Valet, neat. And I like this mural, Detroit Windsor Tunnel mural. Since 1930 and beyond. The global headquarters at the Renaissance, I like that, Tunnel to Canada. They should print those out and make them and just sell them on the side in that old school design. Just like they could with Detroit City Limits. I think you could find some buyers. Five bucks American to go uh, to Windsor now and bring your passport or your uh, extend or expanded license, whatever they got a name for that. All right, here's the lay of the land. They have like four stages set up. They have, we saw the VIP area. That's the main stage there, number one. Detroit River there. So you, the movement stage is number one, Red Bull Music Stage 2, Pyramid Stage 3 and 4. They're, 3 and 4 are back by the, um, near the Detroit River. Ooh, four times proud to be an American, oh yeah. This, well, back in the day, the Detroit Grand Prix ran under this tunnel and ran under Hart Plaza. A neat little twist. Now they run out at uh, Belle Isle. Big boat from Traverse City, and it looks like they're kind of promoting the state of Michigan. How about it? But they were docked here, and here are some racing cars, and then even a racing ice cream truck. Cool, and it's keeping pace with them, not in first place, but it's in the middle of the pack there. Little Caesars, now it's interesting, they're actually at this time. 
when the video was shot, there's still, uh, and I think even now, uh, here I'm calling the action on June 2nd, but I think they're still out on strike. Here, officially, Port Detroit. Detroit, Wayne County, Port Authority. And you know it's official when they got that spinning thing uh, thingy on the top. Do the radar thing. All right. Then the, the princess, you can see the smokestacks, and then off yonder, the Ambassador Bridge. And some people were catching the music out from the river. Cool. Thanks for watching. Have a great week or weekend, whatever the case may be. Good night.